Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. So remember, we are starting out here, and we have a guard after God us. Damn it. Why did you look back? <laughs> I wanted to see if he was after us still. Um, so yeah, we have a guard after us. Uh, so we got to get out of here. He is fast. I know, it's right? The fastest well, guard I mean, alive. It's not like you were really running from him. But. <laughs> True. So yeah, I, I just was expecting like a cutscene to start up here. This is why we I wanted to make sure we ended that episode. Um, like a chase scene of you on horse and then one foot. It can't possibly look oh, at how fast what? he is. He's the fastest <laughs> guard alive. He's so fast he won't give up. Wow. Is this one of those games? Oh, quest is complete now, Ron. I was gonna say, oh. is this one of those games where like guards will Jeez. chase you to the end of the earth? <laughs> that was like um, what was that other else? Oblivion. The guards oh, chased yeah. you fucking forever. Yeah, they would. Yep, you didn't. You weren't. You should not fuck with the guards in the game. Here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. Like they've already gone. So they really fucked this town up. The carnage. Yeah, it's bad. These are all the people we knew. All of our old friends. Ah, it's terrible. I'm just like okay. trampling through it. Stomping all over <laughs> Stomping everybody. Stomping all over them and shit. God, you're a dick. Well, you know how I get when I get around carnage, Jinx. You know who Henry kind of reminds me of and maybe he was modeled after? Uh-huh. Who's that? Like a young Jack Bauer. What? <laughs> Uh, no. He's nothing like Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer yeah, is awesome. Really, he looks a little bit like Keeper Sutherland. Um, maybe. I don't know. All right, so punching everyone. True. Jack yeah, Bauer would punch his shit. Oh, hold up. Oh, oh shit. Go. We're in a fight. I didn't even know I was in a fight. You're done for, fucker. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, we're in a fight. I heard the fighting's really difficult in this guy in this oh, game. Shit. We haven't really It's a good thing Fucking this guy's hell. a pussy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look at him. He cannot take that hit. Well we have a superior oh. sword. True. Nice. Ouch. Okay, Stop, he's wanting please. to yield. Spare me. You shouldn't have attacked me, bandit. <laughs> Is he a bandit? Is that uh, what he's doing? He's running! He's running! Attack. He's the fastest bandit ever! Oh, Why I need to... Why are we so slow? Because I was fucking... No. Because I, I keep forgetting. He ran out of stamina or something. He's like, oh my well, god, look at the way run. he runs! <laughs> oh, oh, we got a tackle button. Hold up. Oh, How do we tackle? tackle the shit out of I'm him. I'm trying. Oh, we're out of stamina. Oh, we're so tired. Oh, he's so hard we to can't tackle. We wrestle him. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm hitting the tackle button. Oh, there we go. Oh, you killed him. The tackle button does that. Oh. All right. Well... We can't... We couldn't have let him live. He's a bandit. Is he a bandit? It, sa it says bandit. Oh, his name is his bandit. Name? His name is bandit number 23. Maybe that's what his mom named him. <laughs> it's bandit. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you expect your son to become if you name him bandit? All right. That's so true. <laughs> we, when I worked at the animal shelter, we had a dog named bandit. And he, was he a bandit? And oh, yes, God. he was. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's... All right. Well, why don't Somebody you get got all hanged. up in there? Huh? Like uh, <laughs> Logan, Logan Paul, or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> fucking loser. All right. Um, what we need to do is take a look at our inventory and see if anything that we got off him is better than our current shit right now. Just take a look here. Uh, I believe we also might have increased our main level. Yeah, we hey, did. You have a shield you can use. Oh yeah, I forgot about the shield. I should have been equipping that. All right. 
Let's let's go ahead and take care of that. If you can wield that with one hand. We got a hat, Jinx. Uh, <laughs> Should we wear it? Are, coifs are like queefs. Like, yeah, I don't even know if it's worth them. the points. <laughs> yeah, he looks too stupid to wear, guys. <laughs> I don't think we should wear that. Nobody's going to take you seriously. <laughs> Nobody will. I wouldn't take me seriously. Those look comfy enough. You think they're better than our current boots? Well. I wish it showed in comparison. Oh, it does. Okay. So it uh looks like it reduces our... What, what stat is that? stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know what stat that conspicu... Conspicuous? Conspicuous? Yeah, sneakiness. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see what else we got off him. We got a leather jerkin. Does that look better than what we have? Oh, it's a new slot. Should we put that over our... Sure. Right? Sure. Yeah, we'll put it on. There we go. Because you didn't look peasant enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't feel like I was peasant-y enough. I mean, it is raining. We do need, like, lots of clothes. So this increases our visibility and our the noise we make, but it's better armor. Hmm. Should we wear it? Yeah. You think so? Okay. I'm I have a feeling that Henry's going to have a rough life. <laughs> He's going to need that and armor. He could use as much padding as possible. All right. So this one looks like it's all better. Yeah, it's just better all around. The patched hose. So we'll pull that on. Um, besides, I was, I was sick of the tight olive hose. And it was. It says it's tight. Tight. Yeah. All right. I guess that's it. I guess that's all we have. We get, This is just an aesthetic choice, I really. I want some tight olive hose. <laughs> I want you to have some tight olive hose, too, Jinx. I don't have any olive hose. You don't. Do they even make that? I gotta find them. <laughs> so it looks like we got another skill point, I think. Or do you? No, wait a minute. I think you only get them every, every two levels, perhaps. Yeah, because we didn't get anything new here. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna wait to to get anything. Uh, I'm always I'm, I'm always okay with waiting a little bit, making sure that we get the best things here. Another things I wanted to show you guys in the last episode, but I forgot, is that for the reputations for each town. Look at this. Every uh, every group here has a classes. Yeah, so like at Talberg, the villagers, soldiers, and quarrymen all have a different uh, reputation rating with us. So Interesting. that's pretty cool. So you could be like real so they don't real hate buds. Us. Yeah, you could be like real buds with the nobles, while the fucking peasants hate you or some shit like that. So that's pretty cool. Makes sense. So we're supposed to be finding our our, our parents. We got all sidetracked, guys. Oh. Um, all right, I guess Mom. we're gonna loot everybody here. What? Get out of their pockets. Jinx. You're going to eat vegetables that are drenched in blood. Yeah. We wouldn't want them to go to waste. And they have a pretzel. Well, I mean. There's a pretzel, Jinx. Okay. Now Jinx we is can, okay with I'm it. I'm on board now. <laughs> and now that we found a pretzel, she's on board. That's all it takes for Jinx. <laughs> it's some type of breaded well, item. Well, now we just got to we gotta search the others for cheese sauce. <laughs> now we need cheese sauce. Exactly. So we need to continue looting this town here. Uh, we know where our parents died, but I can't tell what anything is because everything was all burnt down. I know. It's I think not they, like we grew up here or anything. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was up on that hills where we lived, so I believe that it's it's. Uh, that. It was right by the Yeah, gate. I'm going the wrong way on purpose, if, if you're curious, guys. All right. I was just trying to see if there's anything over here worth looting. There's not. So let's, uh, let's go try and find our parents. I think they were, like, right up here towards the top. Yeah. But it does look completely different, doesn't it? It does. Is that our house up there? I think I that's think our that's house. that's our house. Yeah. We were up on the hill but because... But they died outside of the gates, didn't they? Yeah, I think so. But we might want to go back to our house just for loot. Can we go oh, in here? the apples. That's no. a pigsty. <laughs> I was just wondering if we could go in there. <laughs> All right. Like, this is our home now. So we still haven't... We're going to wallow in our woes. I not found our parents yet. And those bushes were getting down. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing and grooving and shit. Yeah, it looks all so different. When it's all burned down. Everything's gone. And you know, that's the way it is, guys. Have you ever been to, like, a like a town or something that's been, like, through some kind of really horrible event? Um, like a tornado or something like that? It's surprising how much, it, how difficult it is to, like, recognize. Actually, I don't think we're well, there yet. I don't think so either. Because no, I don't recognize any of this. need to go further down this. the road. And I can't, he can't get over this fence. Get over the fence, Henry. <laughs> he can't, can't hop it. It's too high. Okay. Well, we got a lot of villagers to loot. <laughs> what? You don't think? Look at all this. We found money? Jinx. Come on. 
I do, another pretzel i do not approve of taking all this food yeah i think jinx doesn't approve just because she doesn't want to sit through me looting all these guys well that mm, i wouldn't eat food off of dead people off of dead people yeah well, what about horseradish? <laughs> I know how much you love horseradish, Jinx. I hate horseradish. Yeah, all this food is easily going to go dead. Or go dead. It's easily <laughs> going to go bad on us. Oh, a bandage, though, Jinx. Maybe Probably she tore was off still a piece, alive. Tore off a piece of her clothing or something for a bandage. Jeez, they killed a fuck ton of people. Some of these people have money on them, Jinx. There is no honor we should, in this. <laughs> we should have left the beat. <laughs> there is no honor in this. I'm not saying there is. We're not going to be an honorable character. Henry's a cunt. Jinx. We need stuff. Have you seen our inventory? We're in a bad spot. None we're of in a bad this is spot. worth anything. No. The food's really not. This one looks like she's still alive. Huh. Well, Pretzels. Don't help her or anything. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. I tried. Like she's got nothing. I was pushing X on her and didn't do anything. <laughs> Oops. I don't want to miss these apples and carrots. That one looks like he's still alive, too. These extras suck. <laughs> yeah, he's they're... blinking. Uh-huh. <laughs> these are... They're just napping. And so Jinx said we shouldn't do this, but we have, like, literally, like, quadrupled the amount of money we had in our inventory. These so it's kind of a big deal. These just ran up the hill and laid down <laughs> to play dead. Yeah. Yeah, you notice everybody else is burnt, not them. All right. Well, here's the... Oh. Is this the, the church? Oh, huh. I guess that's what that makes sense. That's where they would have ran. Yeah, he cannot get over his stone walls or Henry's Henry's one weakness. And apparently we are too heavy or something. Yeah, because you're full of fucking vegetables. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a village worth of vegetables <laughs> in your pocket. I do. Oh, I think we're too heavy. Yep, we are way too heavy because of all the veggies and stuff we have on us. All right, well, let's. I guess we can eat some. Eat the apple. <laughs> gonna get fat again. Uh, you want eat it? Oh, you gotta hold it. That's right. Yeah, we're gonna get all fat again. <laughs> oh, this oh, is great. Chris this is Marine. good times. We'll get rid of all these beets. We don't need these fucking things. <laughs> all of them. Drop them. That bread looks like it's bad. Let's drop all that too. Try and get below our weight again, guys. Um, get rid of, get rid of the ridiculous. Clip. No, it's worth. <laughs> I think it's worth a lot. Yeah, it's worth a lot. We might as well keep it to sell it. Um, I don't know. I, we can't get rid of the mushrooms. Mushrooms are too awesome. That's true. We'll get rid of horseradish. That's just disgusting. I don't care how much it's worth. It'll stink up our entire fucking inventory. All right. I think that's probably good. I guess we can get rid of some pears, too. Don't need pears. Or radishes. All right. Pears are always, like, too crunchy. Like, even when they're ripe. The shield is not marked as uh, stolen anymore. Okay. We'll hmm. cut that. I forgot to it's cut ours it. Now. <laughs> ours <laughs> now. Ours now. He just raises his hand like, uh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Here I got a torch. All right. Yeah, none of these items are marked as, as stolen anymore. Oh, because you're not in the town that you stole them from. Oh, interesting. All right, we'll go ahead and equip all these things in, and <laughs> we'll equip the arrows. Torch. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx is having way too much fun with that. All right, we're good to go. He's a good sport. What is the death uh, symbol? Um. That doesn't look good. Probably because you ate food, <laughs> food off of a dead person. Off of rotting people. Don't tell me the game really does thinks of that. Yep, you got food poisoning. Next time, and be more careful you what you bitch. eat. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Was this shit all bad? Um, some of it is. Some <laughs> of the freshness is bad. That's awesome. That's called karma. Yeah, I admit that's that's <laughs> probably karma, guys. Let's get rid of all this shit that I took off these dead people. What does that have a pile of food sitting here? Some of it's still good. All the dried stuff is good. We shouldn't have took the fruit, though. And yeah, I guess those would absorb the uh, the yeah. nastiness of the yeah, body. Yeah, it's been raining. <laughs> yeah, I bet. These it's... bodies are really, really right. We have to get rid of your pretzel, one of the them. The flesh is probably just, like, falling off of them. <laughs> I should have just went through food here. That would have been quicker. All right, so we got food poisoning. We're we're doing. We're really. We're just trying to teach you all the mechanics of the game, so you guys understand. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, there's your shit. <laughs> look at the big old pile of food. Did you shit your fucking pants? Oh god. Yeah, this is where I'm oh, shitting you're, blood. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I am in a bad spot <laughs> right now, guys. Oh, Henry is not doing well. Look at our health. Our health got ticked down like, because he of that. He couldn't have waited to get off his horse. Like a little bit. 
I know. Later. Why the fuck did this horse is gonna run away Oops. or someone's gonna there. steal it? Oops, my bad. Can we whistle for the horse? Pony. No, we can't. All right. Horse is like, no, I smell death, man. Uh huh. So do we not and have you food poison? Like shit. <laughs> Uh, luckily, it looks like we, we shit out the bad stuff, guys. Yeah, one good shit. And one good, good shit, go. and we're good to go. Uh, because, yeah, he doesn't seem to have uh, food poison anymore. No. Oh, that's fine. We did get our health ticked down from that. I wonder if we could just bandage ourselves. <laughs> a little yeah, bit of a little bandage yeah, is fine. Just pack some bandages up in there. You'll <laughs> yep, be fine. That's all you need to do. Because I'm sure our asshole is burning. All right. He's got bandages well, on him. He's got dried fruit. He's got dried fruit, so <laughs> we can take that. Oh, uh, this is bad. Because you obviously haven't learned your lesson. I have learned my lesson, Jinx. All right, the dried mushrooms aren't good. See, I'm I'm looking. I'm paying attention you took now. The bread, though. It was still good. It's fresh. Was it was fresh, Jinx? Fresh? How could it be fresh? <laughs> because it <laughs> it's said on a dead body. It said 100 percent freshness. Like, did she? Is the yeast growing on her body? Like, is that how that happened? Somebody else shit themselves on this road, too. Oh, I'm not the first one to do this. <laughs> I know that. All right, we're going to take that. In that my money. tiny town, we used to have this big parade. Jinx. What? An axe. I'm always about to tell a story okay. and then you interrupt me. <laughs> I found an awesome no, axe. Was no I not story time with Jinx. Okay, You Jinx. guys can thank Praetorian. We want to hear your story. No, you don't. We all want to hear your there's story. There's a fucking parade full of horses and there's shit everywhere. There, there's a story. <laughs> I'm sorry I ruined your story, Jinx. I'm devastated about it. I know. Because I was really looking forward to it. I know. You wanted to hear my story about horse shit. I did. Of course I did. Yeah. Because <laughs> you love my stories. They're so good. They're so good. You're never going to get to scallops. <laughs> Looting. Dude. Jinx. Hold up, Jinx. We found an axe on one of them. It's the charcoal burner. Oh, the charcoal burner. Oh, no. He was such a nice guy. What are you talking about? The charcoal burner was a dick. Was he? Yeah, you don't remember? And he was like, oh, I'm, I'm too heavy again. I thought he was a nice guy. You don't, No, you don't remember? He was... Um, he, we, he told us not to interrupt him while he was talking. Wasn't that the charcoal burner? No, that was the other guy. No, that was the charcoal burner. Uh, and the assistant was the one that we, um. we talked to. Well, the assistant's dead, too, so we can feel bad about him. All right, so we can just get rid of all the ones that don't put up a lot of nourishment. Let's stop carrying veggies. Veggies are worthless, apparently. We'll just drop all our veggies. No veggies for us. We don't need veggies. We'll drop this old-looking bread as well, uh, and we'll drop any apples that we have, too. All right, see, we're we're good now. I'm going to stop picking so up. So what are the balls on <laughs> the sword there? <laughs> the balls on the sword? Or the red heart-looking thingy? Uh, hmm, let me Does that see. mean it's too heavy? Let me see, where is it at? On this? On the axe? Where? I guess I'm not it's seeing it. It's on the sword. On this sword here? Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's a quest quest item? Oh, maybe. You know what? We could have picked that sword up that that guy dropped. The bandit. Oh. We're not going back for it, though, guys. No, that's too damn far. We've come too far. All right, so I won't pick up any more food, guys. We don't need any more food. Unless they're pretzels. <laughs> I'm done with I'm done with food, guys. We'll leave it alone. This um, is awful. Yeah, like they hanged somebody all along the way here. Why? What message are they trying to send? Yeah, and they didn't even bother to clean her feet. That's fucked up. If I'm hanging... Those are clean feet. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot. We're in the Middle Ages. You're right. Those are probably fucking like immaculate feet. Why would anyone do this? For real. What did these poor souls ever do to them? Oh, we interrupted him. Just living out their <laughs> lives. All right. That's what Praetorian does. What? <laughs> Interrupt people? <laughs> I do not. I'm actually a very uh, considerate. considerate person. I listen to people when they talk. I actually enjoy listening to people talk. You learn a lot about them. Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. And I'm a people observer, people watcher. I think that's why I'm terrified of phones. Because I rely a lot on micro expressions. Uh huh. And there's none of that on the phone. Nope. Okay, is this another bandit? What's going on there? Answer to my prayer. Yep. Fuck yeah, another bandit. He's yeah, these guys are aggressive. Oh shit. Oh I shit, burn it. Died. We cut him in the face. Hold up, we have a shield now, too. So Not we can block his hits. Bandito. Nice. <laughs> See the way he holds his arm up? Yeah. He thinks he's got skills. 
These guys suck. He's a pussy. Yeah, All no, right, let's. Fuck you. This time I want to see what happens if you release him. Okay, so you can release him unconditionally. You can let him go disarmed, or you can continue combat. I don't have nothing for the people who loot the corpses of my, <laughs> of my friends. <laughs> Couldn't even say that with a straight face. Stop whining and fight. Uh, bastard. Right. <laughs> he called me a bastard. With no conviction at that. All right. He's like, bastard. Oh, how do you do the mercy kill? Okay, see, we have mercy. Stick him with the pointy end. Yeah. So let's let's loot him. See what he's got. Oh, he's a hunter one. A hunter bandit. Oh, mm -hmm. he's got noble shoes, too? I imagine he took these off of people. And yeah, what are these? I imagine so. Piece of armor that protects the elbow, one of the most sensitive parts of the combatant's anatomy. Oh, it can be shit. afforded even by less well-off warriors. He's got some good shit. Let's take all this shit. I, I need oh, some gonna be, of those. Damn, we're going to be too heavy now. So I always wait Praetorian up with the elbow. <laughs> no, she doesn't, guys. I do too. Let's pick this guy it's up real quick. True, and you know it. And just drop him on it's over here. Heavy as shit. No, we, we're we're too heavy. We have too much stuff on her. Oh, I didn't mean to pick the Danny mm. lineup. <laughs> Stopped and picked the roses. <laughs> um, does he do this animation every time you pick something up? Yes, he does. Oh wow. Okay. That's awesome. Man, that kind of fucks with my eyeballs going from really first person view to yeah. Yeah, I don't really like that either. I'm throw you off. Like, Whatever. Oh, you just jerked me on my body. <laughs> what? He <laughs> jerked you off your body? <laughs> um. Okay, Jinx. Where the Where the fuck is his axe? It's gone. He God ate damn it, it before you killed him. And I saw it. Oh, After, is that it? Did where? Right. 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 right, right, right. Stop. No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, because, yeah, he died right over here somewhere. All right, well, I guess we're not that's getting right, the axe, he guys. He threw it. Yeah, he said, you're not having my axe. It's a family heirloom. They're like, well, we can't give you that many axes. All right, so we're too heavy again, guys, because Praetorian picks up too much shit. <sighs> Praetorian. Here we go. <laughs> the looting. We're uh, never going to get anywhere. never going to get anywhere, guys. Um, we could drop our, our dried fruit doesn't seem, well... You know, we, we Dried fruit is fucking delicious. I'm, I'm just basing this off of the stats, Jinx, that's all. Um, I guess what we can do is let's go through our armor here and uh, wear the stuff that uh, is best. Um, so, a green shirt, we already had that. Okay, hunter's gloves. We don't have any gloves yet. All right, we'll throw those on. Um, the leather jerkin. We already have that on. We got a new one. Is it? It's, it's a different color. I like the dark one. <laughs> it's not as good as condition, though. It's, it's yeah. falling apart. All right. What about this? This hood thingy? What's oh, this? Okay, it's raining. All right. That looks kind of cool. That's better than our stupid scarf. Our mom made that. It makes more noise, though. It's special. Yeah, let's wear that. <laughs> the noble shoes, are these better? Hell yeah, they're better. Look at them. They do look a lot better. They don't seem to be as good on the stab defense and slash defense, though. Interesting. Oh, wait it a minute. It doesn't matter. People will respect us. All right, guys. So I've dealt with the inventory. I dropped a fuck ton of shit. <laughs> <laughs> my, I dropped my chickens. <laughs> Those are my cooked chickens, guys. They died for naught. Yep. Uh, and we, we'll be much more conservative about what we pick up, guys. Um, because, yeah, clearly weight is a serious issue, but we are gonna pick up any money that we find it. That looks like a fucking camel. It does look like a camel. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, we'll pretty much just probably pick up money and stuff. We did discover fast travel point. We can't loot her. You can okay. stomp on her though. Why didn't they kill all the fucking horses, man? So that no one could get anywhere. That's fucked up. All right, so we could go loot those, those buildings if we wanted to. Um, Jinx would probably kill me if I did though. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be another corpse on the road. Yep. You guys, we have done so many series, um, so many uh, Let's Plays, um, and then Jinx has been here for even, you know, beyond the Let's Plays, before we even started YouTube. Uh, so she has dealt with my incessant looting for a Ugh. very long time. It's a real problem. Guys. Yeah, I have a video game loot problem. Um, I have to pick up everything and sell it. You know, I used to be like that, too, but then I just got to where, like, especially after we have kids, or had kids, like, yeah. 
<laughs> Jinx is way worse than me with loot, and don't let her no, I'm not. trick you. I've really come to a point I've where seen, I don't give a shit I've anymore. seen Jinx walk for like hours completely encumbered so that she could get to town to sell her I stuff. I needed to sell that dwarven armor. Oh, fuck, how do we get in here? You gotta go through the hmm. gate. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Uh, but yeah, I've seen her walk like slow as fuck down a road for like an hour so she could sell her encumbered it goods. an hour. Yeah, it was, Jinx. It was like 20 minutes. All right, so there's got to be a way in here. Hmm. Yeah. You can't possibly make me... can't climb it, can I? No. no. All right, so what do you think going the right, to the right or to the left is a better option? Use your axe. Chop, chop, chop. I don't think Probably we can that way. destroy stuff. I think this way is the better way? Yeah, because remember there's a path. Yeah, around along the... Along the moat. Yeah, true. All right, well, maybe we'll be able to get in here uh, this way. Is that the sea? I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. You should be able to get it through those spikes, right? Yeah, you should be able to hop those. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, lay a coat or a body over it. Hmm. All right. We'll end up walking around this entire fucking thing before we get inside. Oh, oh another, another fucking, fucking looter. burrito bandito. A burrito bandito. <laughs> He's stealing everybody's burritos, guys. He's got to die. All right, so let's let's come on over here. Maybe this one will be friendly. He won't attack on. Oh, yeah. that, nope. What are you doing here? Tired of I, life, are you? <laughs> I'm just fucking well, looting like you. <laughs> <laughs> I smacked him outside the face. Oh, he hit me this oh, time. Shit. Oh, this one's got a little bit of skills. Ugh. <laughs> like, I thought he was a joke with his stick. Yeah, uh, he's got a fucking Ow. stick. That stick is fast, though. Oh, I missed. No. <laughs> he values oh, life. God damn it. I don't know if he does damage to your health with his stick, though. No. He might just damage your stamina. Your stamina? Yeah, maybe. All right. <laughs> he's half health, guys. He should give up soon. Die, bastard. You think we should let him live since he didn't try and kill us? He just hit him with a bat? Sure. I'm ah. a joke, so that's <laughs> Made us laugh. Yeah. Alright. Oh, we're gonna let him live. <laughs> Alright, so he says he yields. We're gonna let this one go. Let him go disarmed. I'll let you go. The, the weapon, weapon stays. stays here. If you insist. Alright, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Skedaddle. Alright, so now we can pick up a stick. Oh, nice. Uh, and it's called a bludgeon. a bludgeon. I'm sure we're not gonna be able to carry this. So, Looks yeah. Looks like a heavy stick. Uh huh. Let's just take a look at it though. Um, it is. Ex it's not too heavy actually. No, it's not too bad. Okay. Um, is it even worth carrying? It is. All right. So that's the. So Jinx was like, "Why do we need to be picking all this shit up?" Uh, and because we've we've got quite a bit of uh, loot, and when we when we finally find a a village uh, with a merchant, we're gonna be able to sell this shit and get something. I'm probably not going to get much money because I doubt they're going to have the money on them. But More we can lock picks. Yeah, get some fucking lock picks, man. Alright. Let's see what these guys got. Like I said, we're just going to pick money up unless there's something really, really good on them. Uh, we'll just pick the money up. Alright, so good call, Jinx, on going right. That was the correct way. Let's see if there's anything else in these guys here. Um, another bandage. We will pick up the bandage yeah, as well. Yeah, the bailiff, he stayed and fought like a man. <laughs> Yeah, alright. Let's see, is... Can we go into any of these, these buildings here? I don't think so. Yeah, probably not. They're all burnt up. Alright, so I now, I now know where I'm at. This is, this is the town. I, this to you. I no. wonder if we'll find our friends. It's having thoughtful in moments. Abundance. Okay. <laughs> I'm interrupting them while I loot. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, there's nobody has has anything on them. They're all peasants. <laughs> Some of them have oh, like a little. They do have a fuck ton of food for peasants? Yeah, these peasants are doing very well. Well, this town was doing pretty yeah. well in general. It's a nice, quiet place to raise a family. You have to raise a family. Oh, and our woman. Until everyone died. Jinx, our woman. Bianca. Bianca. All right, let's let's go see if she if she. Oh, this is Bianca. Oh no. Oh man. She had a, she had a saving thing on her though. Take care of my parents. Well, stand on her, you dick. I'm I'm looking <laughs> down on her thoughtfully, Jinx. Jeez. Uh, so how do we take care of her? We can't pick her up right now. I guess he wants to do the parents first. I guess that makes sense. True. She was just a girlfriend, you know. You wouldn't you wouldn't take care of her body before you took care of your parents. Of your mom. Yep. 
So I believe they died right over there. So we'll make our way over there. Ever so slowly. <laughs> Let's, uh, oh, there we go. Cutscene. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here, under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. You notice he really didn't seem to give two shits about his mom. I know, right? He did not care. Alright, well, let's see. Take the money. <laughs> I mean, he would have wanted He would have wanted us to have it, Jinx. It's not cold hearted. Jeez. Alright, so we're gonna. We gotta find a spade, aka a shovel. Um, and I also have a feeling that we probably will do a little bit of more. Of running away. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that dude. He said, "I promise I'll never run away." And, and I was thinking just ran. the exact same thing. I was like, "I'm actually probably gonna run away from a lot of fights. <laughs> Every person that has armor on, um, I'm probably gonna have to run away from until I get armor for myself or something big that could smash through it." Um, but how much how much time do we have left? Remember, we had that all that time yeah. that we we had paused. Or yeah, it was like a minute or two. Okay, so hopefully we can find the shovel. I would like to get to save point. I don't know if it saved when we found our parents. I wasn't paying attention. Um, but I'm assuming... Where was I? I'm assuming the shovel would be over here somewhere. This is a good place. You're going to like it here. All right, so this is where we're going to bury them. Oh, should we have picked... We probably should have brought their body over here. Yeah. All right, well, we need to find a shovel first anyways. So let's do that first. An axe. Hmm. The shovel's not marked on the map. I was going towards A, but that was not what we <laughs> needed to do. All right. I don't um, think there'd be oh. one in the shed. Oh, we can't pick the lock. We don't have any lock picks. Like, where's the key, Dad? All right. What was in the box? Yeah, I don't know if I want to know. You know, I think Jinx <laughs> might be right. That is the last thing we need right now. He's already devastated enough. He does not need to see pictures of his mom naked. <laughs> I'm fucking devastate them. Alright, did you notice that their bodies seemed really pink? Pink? I mean, yeah, for dead people. Yeah, for dead people? Like, I understand, like, in... Well, they had the warmth of their love. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I understand in movies where they kind of look a little bit alive or whatever, then do the makeup good enough or whatever. Uh, because the, usually they are really alive, so it's kind of hard to like. But this is a video game, like you well, could. Well, they didn't want the moving cutscene to, you know, have the decrepit bodies. Well, I mean, they wouldn't be decrepit. It's only been a day, um, but they would certainly be In their pale. Moist atmosphere. Jinx says moist any chance he can. If she moist. can find a way to say the word moist, she will do it. There's no shovel. All right. Well, I guess what we could do is go. No one in town owned one. We can go bring their bodies over there for right now. 
But yeah, where the fuck is... I bet the is... coal guy had a shovel. I bet he did, yeah. I guess we could look in his area. That would make sense. The coal burner having a shovel? Yeah. There might be a shovel in the castle as well. Might want to head up to the Maybe castle anyway. Maybe get to the castle. You don't think I can? I guess. It looks like the gate... Well, yeah, I guess the uh, drawbridge could still be, still be up. Let me just see here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look. At our quest log and see if uh, I found my parents' bodies and others too. Now I have to find a spade to dig a grave under the linen tree as my father wished. It should be no problem to find a spade in the village. All right, so we gotta look in the village. Okay. So we'll look in the village for. I was gonna carry my father, but you know what? We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna carry him. I don't even think. Get the hole ready first. Actually, yeah, you can't even carry him. Okay. Um, let's let's look where Jinx was saying. Wasn't he set up right here in the like middle? In the middle there. Oh, there's a cart. Right. right over here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's over here. I just have to wander around. Looks like these these buildings here weren't really burned down. Oh, this place was nice. Yeah, somebody had a nice ass curve. I don't remember who lived here. Um some rich dick. Uh huh. I hear a dog. Did you hear a dog Jeans? Friend or foe. I don't know, maybe we can have a pet dog. Probably not. That would be amazing. Any game that gives you a pet dog, yeah, that's big plus one in my uh, in my book. What the fuck? I hear a dog. I know, I hear it too. Sounds like there's a person with him though. Yeah, I heard him say, hey. Huh. Or maybe the dog's eating people. Yeah, that's a possibility too. You that was shoo him off. That was one of the things that he was concerned about. Was, uh, oh, okay. The Jack Doss. We've got our loading screen. Oh, okay. Somebody's trying to Get defend off the dog. With the shovel. With the shovel. It's just what we need. Get away, you beast! What's going on? It's Bishak. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's... Um, Mutt? But isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Well, the hound is protecting his master's body, that's all. I can't really say nothing about him looting <laughs> corpses. He's protecting his master. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing? What are you doing? Hey, we're not talking about me. <laughs> I want to bury my parents. Okay, no, we won't talk about all the corpses I just looted on the way over here. So bury them and leave me be. Uh, I need the fucking spade. Um, let me say what happened to Teresa. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the humans wanted to... They meant to violate her. God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Okay, so he's a lovely, <laughs> lovely fella. Fuck you, exactly. <laughs> I want to know how this pussy got away. I bet he ran. How did you manage to get away? How do you think I ran? Uh, as that's what we did too. So <laughs> we ran too, though. So to be fair, but we had a job, a job to do. Give me the fucking job. Spade. I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that happens. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take them to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. Okay, so... He's not gonna give me the fucking shovel? No, you gotta kill that bastard. I'm just gonna say fuck you. A cunt, no matter what the situation. 
He used your favorite word, Jinx. Oh shit, we're fighting. Let's box him. Okay, we're boxing. <laughs> looks like you're bigger than him. Yeah, it looks like he's a scrawny little bitch. <laughs> Get him, <Yeah>. Dag. <laughs> Alright. I think the dog I like thinks you guys are playing. Yeah, he's <laughs> over there having a good old time laughing at me. Oh shit. Yeah. Alright, we should probably get back a little bit. I need a little Fuck bit more it. room. Get him in the fucking face, bitch. Oh man. Okay, so I didn't know we were gonna be getting another fisticuffs match, guys. You should have used the sword. <laughs> Well, we're getting, like, strength points for fighting him right now, Jinx, so there is a benefit to this. And plus, who doesn't want to punch this guy in his fucking face a I couple know, times? Right? He's kind of a dick. That is all for shoving the sword up his arm. <laughs> I probably should have. <laughs> I just wanted to say fuck you, though. Yeah, I didn't know it would I know, result. Right? I didn't know it was going to result in the fight. Isn't that usually what happens? <laughs> well, he's a coward, so... True. Cowards, you can tell them whatever you want. They, they yeah, but Henry's shit. kind of a coward too, so it's is like he a coward though? Going at it. I don't think Henry's a coward actually. Wait, why is he? At, oh, you remember he didn't. Shit. Remember he didn't want to run. True. I hate getting in these little matches. I don't even know how you get at him. Try to kick him in the balls. That didn't work. Dad raised him as a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's a coward, Jinx. He got his health down to about half. No. <laughs> huh? That's not half. Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, it's almost half. I'm talking about half from when he gives up. Gotcha. <laughs> Take this, bitch. He's got moves. Yeah, he's got a little bit of moves. Oh, he's running now. Did he leave the spade? God, I keep trying to do that sprint. God damn Did it. He? That's right. Uh, Turn tail and yeah, run, you bastard. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. <laughs> so hopefully he left the shovel. Yeah, yeah he is. did. Excellent. And let's see if we can make friends with the dog. I picked this up. Probably gonna be too heavy for the us. Dog's probably gonna attack you. All right, we've got it. Aww, I'm not boy. gonna loot him. I'm not gonna loot him. I just want to pet you. Yeah, boy. You know me. Your good master won't be needing this anymore. Okay. Can't, I can't pet him. No. All right. Just leave him be. All right. We'll just leave him be with his master. Till he gets hungry so and eats him. That's the saddest thing in the game so far. <laughs> yeah, the dog. <laughs> that is pretty sad. He's gonna be alone. Mm-hmm. I take him with me. And then he's gonna stay there and he's gonna get hungry and then he's gonna eat yeah, his master. Yeah, he's gonna eat his master. That's what I was saying. That's it's terrible. Alright, so can we pick up our mammy and pappy now? Yeah, no, we gotta, gotta go dig the, the hole first. Okay. I hope uh, Henry has the brains to use one of those carts. Nope. To bring them both up he's at the same time. He's gonna drag them both through the mud. Yeah. He's like, well, I'm not making two fucking shoulder and shit. That's far. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, I guess get over here to dig our, dig our fucking hole and shit. Um, how are we looking? This is, that's the end of the episode, isn't it? It's way over. Yeah, here. it's way over. Alright. We sucks. gotta dig this hole, man. Alright, we'll go ahead and dig it real quick. Start digging. And I'm really hoping we get a nice, uh, save here soon as well. Uh, so we don't have to use one of our savior snaps thingies. Damn it all. Oh, 
probably going to do this. Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Is Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! I cut the bastard down! As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Mm. Boss battle. Oh no, guys. It's too soon. He's got armor. Oh, God this is. Damn it. We're in trouble. And he's got a hell of a reach. Yeah, he does. He's got that big old long weapon. Oh, nice. Attacked him, but yeah, the most. Cut his face. The worst part is, is that he's got armor on. Yeah. And I wonder if our shield would even protect us against that fucking oh. thing he's rocking. Oh, oh fuck, man. man. This is not good. Dang, help us. Uh, I can't believe they threw us in a boss battle this early. Like, we. Without. Oh, one hit. Oh, wow. That's all it took. Shit, one hit, that guys. Sucks. You'd assume that they expected us to lose, right? Yeah. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> the games are over. Go! Disperse this rebel! Oh, fuck. Fuck. Well, they came and saved us. Man, that you can tell. Awkward. You could tell that that guy's a villain. That's all he does is fucking talk. He could have killed us any time there. And I think is this the end of the tutorial? Looks like we got like the. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Did he get away with our sword? I think so. It looked like he did. It looked like he was running off with it. This so is gonna be lost it. Everything. This is gonna be a future quest. Uh, for us to come and get it back. Yeah, get it back. Uh, and hopefully this time we have armor. And I sure hope that Sir Robert. Yeah, it looks like he is gonna bury our family for us. Nice. And that's Teresa. Well, she healed nicely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I don't know. She's got blood all over. I don't think she's doing so well. All right, so yeah, I, I believe we we just kind of got through the initial part. Um, I initially said that it was it was six to eight hours to get through this, um, but what I'm, I'm reading online, a lot of people get through it in about two to four. Um, it was a review that had told me that it was six to eight. So please tell me the dog stays with us. I sure hope so, or at least it's very at least it's coming to the to the town with us. Um, oh, it's gonna stay with Teresa, I bet. Probably, yep. Yeah. So we're getting brought back to the town that 
aren't we in trouble here? <laughs> yes, we oh, no. bought a card. Oh. Did the graphics open up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Um, so, is that where she's going to be living now? I'm going to come visit her. Do we get a house here? It's so beautiful. So many questions. Yeah. It is gorgeous, guys. Oh, man. It seems to be Yep. Yeah, and uh, we had somebody comment about how it looked like it's on a regular PS4 rather than PS4 Pro. Uh, as I said, I think in the last episode, actually, it's it's such a bummer that, that YouTube just demolishes uh, videos yeah. when it processes them. Um, I know some people are able to get a little bit more out of the YouTube processing than we have. Um, I don't know. We just need to look at our settings and figure out what, what the deal is. But no matter what, though, you'll notice some distortion because it's just the way it is. Uh, YouTube just distorts Especially videos. Especially with foliage. Yeah, like foliage. Yeah. Can't yep. handle leaves. Yeah, that's what seems to always be the worst. Most stuff usually looks pretty good. It's just the the foliage. Yeah, when you, the leaves and the grass. Oh, grass looks terrible. This is a priest. No, he's a baker. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really look like a priest. He does look more like a baker. <laughs> I just the beard got me. I'm looking at the beard. And it's just that's priest Everyone's beard. Everyone's got a beard. That's priest beard. That's a though. man's beard. Is it? No. <laughs> oh, we can see out of the slit of our eyes here. Oh. Oh, this is the longest episode ever, guys. We got but it should have. Off. Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. We're walking in. Okay, this is the dream. I said oh, dream, Jinx. We gotta save our parents. Do we have a mark on the map? Yeah, we do. Okay. Save our parents. Okay, so. Um, I, I wonder if this is going to be something we see often. And I hope it's like one of those dreams. Oh, we can fight. Don't kill the lady. Oops. Shit, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Just swung. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. This is one of those dreams where we're a badass. Okay. Nice. Those are the kind of dreams I like. The worst dreams are when you swing and swing and you can't fucking hit shit. I know. Those are my dreams. I'm usually a badass, but I can't hit anything. There we go. I'm like, I know I just fucking hit you. See, I didn't kill her. She's fine. Okay. She's fine. We well, saved give her. Give her a hug. Tell her you're sorry, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is one of those dreams where you're badass. The best are when you're fighting zombies and you're like full badass level. Uh, it's always the best. Yeah, I'm usually protecting someone in zombie dreams, so it's not as fun. Well, protecting somebody is always terrible because it always feels like they're doing everything possible to get themselves I know, killed. Right? It's like get back here. Yep. Well, we can fast can travel to Dreamland. So our mission uh, we choose to accept is to hunt down all the baldies. <laughs> yep, <laughs> pretty much. We have to kill both of these guys. Um, I imagine that the, the first mission for us will be to get our sword back, our father's sword back, uh, by killing that other guy. But yeah, we're gonna need to do a little bit more, get ready if he knocked us out in one fucking hit. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So you guys get an extra long episode here today by accident. This is probably something we're gonna see a lot of in this game, unfortunately, which is unfortunate for us, as I said, because yeah, we have you know, we usually have really restricted time on recording. Yeah, it's like four o'clock in the fucking yep. morning. Yep, and we have to get up with the plumber for the plumber too, so. Fantastic. <laughs> it's great, guys. Um, but I think that we're going to see a lot of this in, in this uh, series just because of the weird save system that everybody is bitching about. It's the chief complaint. Like, what kind of modern game doesn't let you fucking save? It's like, people ain't got time for that shit. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Teresa? Hmm. You still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. 
my parents. I, I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. A few delirious days later. Alright, so hopefully they free You're us up awake. here. Nope. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Saratik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. At least Henry's just as baffled with this as we are. <laughs> or why everybody seems to care so much about this little fucking peasant blacksmith. Ugh, oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. An even day later. Here, that said it and even later, didn't it? Good morning to you. I can't read. How's the invalid today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you, and for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life, and I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. So are we finally free? Uh, Ready Mill is your new home. You can sleep here whenever you want, and you have your own trunk here. The contents of this trunk will be available to you in all your homes and rented lodgings. So I did read about this, guys, that the trunk is kind of magical. Um, wherever you store in the trunk, uh, it does you know, teleport magically to any other trunk you have in the world. Which I'm okay with magic like that. It's it's stuff like that that I'm I would like to have in games. Like for instance, like magical saves where I could <laughs> save wherever the fuck I wanted. That'd be nice. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end it here, guys. Um, it's been a super fucking long episode here. Uh, but yeah, we're finally I believe we're finally free in the world. I'm not entirely sure, but I think the open world has actually opened up to us now. 
um, and yeah, and then we have our own house and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm really excited to, to jump on into this uh, and really explore everything this game has to offer. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far and that you liked this extra long episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. I'd love to hear you, uh, your opinion on uh, this game so far. Uh, leave a comment. So uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.